Okay, yes, I know the title is a teaser, but there is a serious side to this. Whenever I put up a beautiful, a beautifully lit landscape shot, what does the photographer want to know? Yes, you've guessed it. Shutter speed, aperture, white balance, oh, and metering as well. Yes, these are important, but you cannot do without the right sort of light, courtesy of weather. Get that wrong, then everything else will not work. And that is what this program is all about. Working with light in landscapes and some interiors too. So let's have a look, shall we? When out and about, I start on program, and that might surprise some of you. This is sometimes confused with auto, which sets all controls automatically. Program, however, allows the photographer to add their personal settings, such as white balance and metering, but it still sets shutter speeds and apertures automatically. If it is required to control movement, then use shutter priority, or depth of field, aperture priority. But whatever you do, you are still at the mercy of weather, and that is where landscape photography really begins. Now that happened at Barmouth in North Wales. I went for a walk, but it was cloudy. There was a clearance in the distance, and it was heading, yes, it's coming in my direction. Now, with the help of an ordnance survey map, I changed my location quite quickly. It was essential, by the way, to stop down to a small aperture to reduce flare. But it works. This shot really works by being in the right place at the right time and having a knowledge of weather patterns. Without that, these shots would not happen. Now, this shot is created entirely by weather. Although I have to admit I am on aperture priority at f8, it can be done successfully on program, even auto, because it is the perfect point-and-shoot shot. Weather has done everything. But I did have the wit to know that I stood a good chance of getting it whilst gazing into my crystal ball at breakfast. OK, I joke. But I've done most of this before, and what it really requires, which I can't teach, the magic word here is, of course, experience. Movement, such as water, is controlled by shutter speeds, but they do require the right sort of day. Freezing water works best under strong sunlight, but blurred water needs a dull day. Of course, you could use a filter to decrease exposure or increase the ISO when you have poor light. But the real skill, you know, the real skill is to wait for the right day and not produce something that could be regarded as somewhat manufactured. It might come as a surprise that whatever the weather is doing outside affects the inside, such as cathedrals. Now, for detail, choose a cloudy day to reduce the dynamic range of the image. But for drama, perhaps evoking the spirit of the Almighty, try strong sunlight. Both require precise exposure control, but rather than play with shutter speeds or apertures, I shoot on program at 200 ISO, because by default it will opt for the widest aperture when the light is low. Furthermore, to photograph the intricate detail of stained glass, a dull day is best, or a window facing north. This guidance also applies to interiors of stately homes. I was going to call this program Working with Light, but I have brought you here with a teaser. Yes, shutter speeds and apertures and all the other controls found on cameras, not to mention computer software, are important. But on a shoot in landscape photography, you cannot do without the right sort of sun, and that, that requires skills beyond photography.